earned. I will give you one of my secrets. Uh, that is how to make a successful radial artery puncture. That's very important and difficult, but today you can learn everything. Creating an environment that can relax the patient is the most important. Avoiding excitement of the sympathetic nerves reduces somewhat the risk of vasoconstriction. The puncture location should be 10 to 15 millimeters from the styloid process on the palmar side of the upper arm, where the pulse can be most easily acquired. Concentrate and use two or three fingers to search for the point where the pulse is strongest. If the pulse becomes weaker, you can wait for it to return or you can use the left wrist. With the double wall puncture method, hold the plastic cannula needle at a 45 degree angle or slightly higher. There are times when the plastic cannula needle puncture is successful, but it is not possible to insert the guide wire. However, with the double wall puncture method, because the end of the cannula needle is securely within the vascular lumen, the risk of a guide wire insertion failure is lower. After insertion, drop the plastic cannula to a low angle and facilitate guide wire insertion in order to minimize the risk of the guide wire damaging the artery. By securely immobilizing the left wrist, it is possible to slowly pull out the plastic cannula. Sufficiently moistening the sheath will allow it to be inserted smoothly. Further reduce the sheath insertion angle and slowly insert it along the path of the artery. A sheath that has a hydrophilic coating can be smoothly inserted and removed. Looking at the series of steps, one technique for ensuring a safe procedure is the following. Although the angle is rather high during the plastic cannula needle puncture, the angle is then gradually lowered and when the sheath is inserted, it is parallel to the path of the artery. Uh, oh, 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 I missed my puncture. Even if you fail, do not pull out the needle. The first puncture is the best puncture. Without pulling out the needle, change the angle and puncture again. It is possible that this may also fail. In this case, change to the reverse direction and puncture again without removing the needle.